Can you talk about how gluten sensitivity is related to leaky gut syndrome? Is there a connection? Really good question. There are two triggers that have been identified as primary and common initiators of intestinal permeability, slang term leaky gut. Two, the first one is gluten. Gluten will trigger a temporary leaky gut within five hours of eating gluten. Okay. Now, usually the gut will heal, and that, so that's not a problem. But with celiac disease and with people who are extremely sensitive, within 36 hours, it's permanent. Uh, it, it can be healed, but it doesn't clear up by itself. So it depends on how, how sensitive you are as to how severe the leaky gut is. Now, remember I talked about the shags. Mm -hmm. um, the shags are covered with a cheesecloth. That cheesecloth only lets the tiny molecules, after digestion, the tiny molecules to get through. When you have a tear in the cheesecloth, now you get these big clumps of these peptides that I spoke of earlier mm -hmm. that get through. And those clumps go in the bloodstream and your body produces antibodies to them. So leaky gut or intestinal permeability is a primary cause of multiple food sensitivities. So gluten is the most common trigger that has been identified in causing leaky gut. The second common trigger, at least as prevalent as, as gluten, is called lipopolysaccharides. And that's why I'm here this weekend, is to teach about lipopolysaccharides and intestinal permeability.